All right, hello everyone. Thank you for the 100 bit cheer, Orb Knight. Um, hello everyone, and well, thank you for turn, tuning in, clicking on this video. If you guys are watching on YouTube, if you guys are watching on Twitch, well, you guys have been watching on watching me for quite some time. If you haven't done so, please consider following. Um, that way I can get up to that magical 75 concurrent viewers that Twitch wants me to have in order to be partnered. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down in this matchup here. Um, things are looking good and up so far. Let's take a look. We are going to be opening up with Lin spawning as the red orc over here. Actually, I should switch views over to to Lin so I can actually spot a blade master on the mini map if he does go in fact go for the blade master meanwhile at the other end of the map we are going to see TBC BM opening up with the ziggurat does have a tomb of relics crypt and altar of darkness as well now this is turtle rock a map that I would say generally favors the orc army orc army has an, a slightly easier time trying to creep out and set up expansions plenty of expansions on the map in addition to that the gargantuan sea turtles do drop the potions of greater healing and the potions of invulnerability which a blade master really really want orb knight is crota's number one fan well he is he is constantly throwing bits at me so that does help thank you very much if 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 all the viewers were in the u.s and were able to watch ads i am sure that these guys um that everyone would be able to just throw bits at me as well thank you for the follow nick zuko uh, Zuko. yeah thank you for the follow definitely enjoy it um, maybe i can how many followers do i need like fifteen thousand followers is considered a stream like a big shot in stream labs um I, I have the subscribers but not everyone watches if i had half of my subscribers watch my content on youtube um that would that would actually be really great that'd be like thirty thousand views per video um definitely enjoy that but um, well, I think a lot of them were just here for StarCraft as opposed to WarCraft 3. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down. Death Knight doing a little bit of solo creeping can do that since he is going to be able to summon some Skeletal Minions here in just a second. Skeletal Minions dealing a good bit of damage to this medium armor unit. And you can see how fast this giant sea turtle will get taken out. It gets taken down as the Death Knight finishes off this last sea turtle hatchling. Blade Master does his own work, finishes off the turtles, and now makes his way out across the map. We can see that there is the Blade Master right here. There is also an Acolyte here keeping track of this Ogre Magi creep camp. He, what he wants to do is he wants to see if the Blade Master is going to reveal itself and try and take down this o one Ogre Warrior. Meanwhile, the Death Knight is off over here, and I don't believe TBCBM. Thank you for the follow, Fat Pumpkin. I don't think TBCBM realizes or realized that the Blade Master was right there. Now that the Blade Master has pretty much shown up, it's going to be able to disrupt a lot. Death Knight waiting to airmail that Death Coil, and well, the Death Knight now needs to back off. Death Knight wanting to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that steal there as the Skeletal Minions are now looking to back off once again. Southeast Asia, yeah. Blade Master looking to perhaps put some pressure on those Skeletal Minions. Skeletal Minions are now running back away as the Death Knight still running around in circles. All right. Stronghold. Up, already being upgraded. Meanwhile, are we getting a... Yes, Halls of the Dead is being upgraded as well. We can see one Nerubian Tower getting into position as the Blade Master should be able to finish off this Ogre Warrior as the Death Knight can... Oh! Win, purposely, Windwalk strikes the last hit in order to get the item and the experience. All right, Ogre Warrior will get taken down. Death Knight missed his delivery on that Death Coil there. Or I should rather say Lin, very much um, in tune with what was going on on the minimap, knew when to use that Windwalk Strike. All right. Um, I, I I don't know if that actually helps me. Um, well, I, I think it only helps if you actually watch ads using the little watch ad um, feature on, um, on the bits there. Anyways, what's happening next? Blade Master going to be heading back down. Maybe able to put pressure onto that Death Knight, but the Death Knight's still sitting at level one. Level one Death Knight not going to be able to do very much, and the Blade Master should be able to force that uh, Death Knight to kind of return home. And this is going to keep the Death Knight in check. 
Um, this is often the gameplay and strategy of an orc player using that blade master to keep that death knight inside his base so that he cannot get a lot of experience by the time tier two is done we are going to be looking at a shadow hunter creeping out with the grunts as well you see an acolyte quickly taken down and now the ogre magi is going to get focused down as well here not quite sure oh the grunts are trying to get a good surround onto that death knight death knight now arrives to the party and says you know what I can, in fact, steal that last Ogre Magi hit. Do you want to finish him off? Uh, you're from Taiwan. Thank you for watching from Taiwan. Death Knight now wandering back around here. Uh, Got to rename my account BitFarm. Yeah. All right. Death Knight now heading back down to the south here. Crypting taking far too much damage as the Death Knight should be able to Death Coil heal up that unit. Oh. Uh. All right, where is that Death Knight going? It really just seems a bit out of position. Um, thank you for the subscription, Gary8810. Um, that Death Knight just seems out of position, and he isn't able to execute his game plan or his strategy yet. He hasn't done a lot of creeping. You can see that the Black Citadel is being upgraded. We're getting into Slaughterhouse, but by the time Obsidian Statues are already out, the Death Knight and the Lich are going to be really playing a game of catch-up. You can already see the other end Blade Master going to be going after the Ogre Lords off over here. Going to be able to surround this Ogre Lord, finish him off fairly fast. Is he? Are we going to see a Hex to try and stop that second Shockwave? Um, nope, not right yet, as the Hex does go through that Shadow Hunter. Tome of Agility and what was that a hood of cunning a very big item right there as the shadow hunter does need to back off you're gonna go ahead and use that healing salve your channel has been growing since you started streaming and um, why thank you back across over here the grunt now looking to back off ogre magi gets taken down rune of healing quickly used in order to heal that shadow hunter back up as that shadow hunter now has healing wave forest troll berserker is gonna get taken down meanwhile at the other end of the map lich and death knight gonna finish off the ogre warrior creep camp again and the death knight may be able to get to level three that is going to be important as the death knight should be able to keep that lich alive if it does try to get bursted down by that blade master the blade master should now be running out across the map and should be putting pressure on the undead army while the shadow hunter is creeping by himself oops miss rallied where is that a uh, raider going is it gonna actually move out and try to regroup with the blade master blade master going after all these units there is a watcher ward right there as the blade master takes a little bit more damage again shadow hunter still seeing that level two you can see an uh, well an army of units just getting healed back up shadow hunter i believe is the one tanking all of that damage now gonna heal himself up as well as the blade master gonna try and engage perhaps take down a tomb of relics I gotta say that I believe this raider was actually misrallied to the blade master. No real reason to be in this position. He is actually in a bad spot. Meanwhile, Death Knight trying to block here, unable to do so. As you can see, a low hit point ghoul does get healed back up, and the blade master is simply just gonna run back on through. Overall supply 46 compared to 35. TBCBM is still well out of um out of the running. 11 supply down right now but he is starting to get a little bit of that tech advantage um, and get the stronger undead units that he needs however if the blade master gets the necessary items which he may be able to do off of this gargantuan sea turtle creep camp the blade master is going to get well have an even more difficult time trying to get nuked down death knight is currently out onto the field you can see the units are now running back around are we going to see an ensnare? No, no ensnare on any of those units there as the Torrent Chieftain, now with an Orb of Lightning, should be giving that to the Blade Master in order to get some, well, well-purged attacks. Potion of Invulnerability slot still available on that Blade Master right now. Is he just going to buy the lesser, lesser variety? Yes, he will. And he is going to be ready for that next engagement. Death Knight going after the Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Death Knight now sitting at level 3. Lich is at 2. No Naga Sea Witch as of yet as we may see a skirmish in the middle of the map. Blade Master gets in some easy hits. There is a Purge followed by an Ensnare to ensure the death of the Banshee. Uh, Torrent Chieftain quickly puts his foot down and is able to take down a Crypt Fiend since it was stopped in its tracks. Banshee needs to get a lot of curses off to really be worth it as the Dark Ranger joins in on the fight. All right, Torrent Chieftain does get taken out 
as the Obsidian Statue down to 95, what, 75, 76 hit points tries to get away. There's an ensnare. Blade Master finishes it off with a critical strike. Kodo Beast walking away with a spider in its belly. You can see that the units are just, well, running around every which way. Death Knight should just launch a Death Coil. I don't know why it isn't. Save a Crypt Fiend in the process, and he loses that and his Lich. Um, all right, not quite sure what was going on there. Lich getting taken down. Death Knight trying to regain up, does get a, a quick glimpse of the Kodo Beast and able to launch a Death Coil. All right, you see a Wind Walk Strike there. Is the Crypt Fiend going to be able to make it? No. A second late once more. Death Knight should have used the Scroll of Town Portal just a little bit earlier, but things are just not going in the direction of... Well, in the direction of TBCBM. Still 46 supply compared to 35. Could have been on cooldown. Yeah, perhaps Death Knight now makes its way over. Banshee is, well, out of the action as well as the Death Knight needs to clear off all of these creep camps here. Meanwhile, the Lich is getting resurrected about two-thirds of the way. Obsidian statues are being added again. And it really feels like, just looking at these games... It, it really feels like Undead has a difficult time against Orc again. Back to before Ted reinvented the meta, perhaps people should be looking at Ted's replays from, I think, World Cyber Games 2014 to see how Undead can do better at a Tier 2 push. Death Knight, Dark Ranger is now coming back around here. Meanwhile, you can take a look. Blade Master healing back up, going after the Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Wants a big item for a heal here. Gets to level 4. Torrent, what is the item? I can't quite tell. Potion of Greater Healing, which would be useful on the Blade Master too. Blade Master, just going to take this opportunity, go off to the north, clear out this Forest Troll Warlord Creek Camp, and that Blade Master with plus 30 attack right now, level 2 critical strike, could easily do what, 4 times, uh, 4 times, what, 85? What uh, upwards of 300 damage already? Rune Bracers on the Shadow Hunter most likely should be transferred over, making it very difficult to try and well nuke down that Shadow Hunter. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is just keeping tabs, keeping track of where his opponent's army is, and says, "You know what? You are not really being that aggressive in terms of the expansions. I am still, I still have a sizable advantage over you." All right. A little bit more healing. Torrent Chieftain really wants to get to level 3. Perhaps level 2 Endurance Aura. That giant sea turtle will get taken down. There's level 3 right there. Meanwhile, let's see. Torrent Chieftain does go for level 2 Stomp. So it's going to be a little bit more damage as the Torrent Chieftain getting into the position. Oh, thank you for the cheer. My first cheer incoming. Thank you. The undead answer is 1 billion guards. All right, if, if there is a billion gargoyles, that would really, really make a big difference. But I do not think that is the strategy. It really looks like it's going to be an uphill battle, especially as Wind Riders are now starting to join in on the fight. Death Knight does have a Scroll of Town Portal, a Get Out of Jail free card, so to speak. As we are looking at, well, no nope, Skeletal Minion keeping track, making sure that there is no expansion there. Death Knight turns back around. Purge onto some units. Are we going to see enough here? Obsidian Statue is going to get taken down again. 171 critical strike. And TBCBM, all he's been doing is just forced to retreat every single time he gets engaged. And that is just not how you play the game. All right, that is going to be a definite problem once more as the Blade Master looks to get even more experience here. Torrin Chieftain with... A a big foot right now, able to stomp at level 2, be able to shut down those Crypt Fiends. And, well, let's see what's going to be happening here. Re Ring of Regeneration onto the Torrent Chieftain, making him even harder to take out. You can see a Great Hall is already underway. Mining, these peons look like they're walking faster, and that's even without the Endurance Aura. As we're still looking at what TBCBM can really do to get back into this. Definite uphill battle. Not quite sure what he can do. As the Torrent Chieftain looks to engage right now, Lin is just setting up the proper proper timing for this next fight. Let's take a look. Down to 4,300 gold. That is still plenty of mining time left in the main bases. I believe, what is that? 45, 69, 8? About 8 minutes left of mining left here. So 
there's still plenty of mining to do and also we do see some frost worms out onto the map so Frostrum should be able to slow things down a bit. Torrent Chieftain going to come across inside here, getting some damage slow onto the Torrent Chieftain. Ring of Regeneration there. There's a big stomp across multiple units. Obsidian Statue going to just easily get focused down. No Destroyers. And is the Destroyer problem the real reason why things are going awry? All right. Uh, one Frostworm looks like it was about to get taken down. Did get Death Coiled Heal, but still not going to be enough. Shadow Hunter gets up to level 4 as... We're, or, yeah, level 4 here as the Death Knight now still sitting at level 3. No level 2 on Holy Aura. Are we going to get another Frostworm out? Another Obsidian Statue going to get taken down. And the Blade Master with Orb of Lightning seems to just be able to destroy unit after unit. All right, Purge onto the Lich. Lich gets stomped, unable to run around Death Knight. Just watching his companion almost get taken out as a death coil finally hits its target. Lich looking to fight back and finish off some more units. There's a big death coil there. Um, Torin Chieftain, well, gonna finish off the death knight. Torin Chieftain now sitting at level 4. And without the death knight for those burst heals, that is going to be the end of that. Moments of brilliance in the last match by TBCBM, but not enough to overcome even while fighting inside his base. The hero score, the ultimate indicator of how everyone was doing as we see Lin taking this game as well. Um, I'm Maybe Lin is uploading all of these games and if that's the case, I'm not going to be casting game 4 and game 5. I'll probably be casting other games um, from the site, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys are, have enjoyed it. Thank you for the 135 bits it is just an absolute pleasure and hope you guys stick around if you guys are watching on youtube remember to like remember to subscribe you probably already have if you're watching on twitch please remember to follow